The Council of Ministers held its weekly meeting at Sif Palace at noon today under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Jabir Limbarak al Hamad al Subah, the Prime Minister. Following the meeting, the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs and Acting Minister of Justice, Sheikh Mohammed Abdul Limbarak al Subah, said at the outset of the meeting, his Highness the Prime Minister extended congratulations on his behalf and on behalf of the Cabinet members to His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Subah al Ahmed al Jabir al Subah. His Highness the Crown Prince, Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabir al Subah, and the Kuwaiti people on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. The Cabinet then discussed the noble Emiri speech and assigned the concerned bodies with taking the necessary measures to embody the speech's contents and achieve its purposes in order to further boost security, stability, and growth. The Cabinet then took note of the message addressed to His Highness the Emir from His Excellency the President of Cyprus, Nikos Anastasiadis, which included an invitation to His Highness the Emir to pay an official visit to Cyprus. The Council of Ministers tackled at the outcome of last meeting of last week's meeting with representatives of all bodies concerned with implementing the governmental projects. In this regard, the Cabinet voiced dismay overstalling the completion of these projects, stressing its objection to the current approach, which allows delaying and hindering the march of development. The Cabinet tasked a team from concerned parties with establishing a comprehensive system to finish the projects and find those responsible for the delay. The Council also tasked the Minister of Social Affairs and Labour and Minister of State for Planning and Development Affairs to be a general coordinator for this team so as to present a tan tangible results within a month. On the other hand, the Cabinet discussed the state's financial status as of March 31, 2014, as well as the financial data related to the future generation's reserves and the general reserve for the fiscal year that ended on March 31, 2014. The Cabinet hailed the approach of preparing and executing the state's general budgets in a way that best accomplishes public economic and social goals. The Council of Ministers then discussed the recommendations of the Legal Committee on the draft law regarding amending Articles No. 2 and 4 of Law No. 39 for the year 1982 and referred it to His Highness the Emir in preparation for submitting it to the National Assembly. Meanwhile, the Cabinet approved a draft decree on appointing Dr. Majda Mohamed Ghloum al-Ghattan as Assistant Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health. The Council of Ministers then discussed the issues listed on the National Assembly's agenda, as well as the latest political developments on the Arab and international levels. Finally, the Cabinet tackled the political developments in Iraq and decided to offer the brotherly country humanitarian aid through the UN humanitarian organizations and wished Iraq and its people peace and stability.